this is uh, unit number A12, chapter 2, uh, the first part. I divide this chapter into two recordings. So the, on the first one, uh, I'll take a look at the, the gas burner and some gas burning uh, control valve. Okay. So any type of burner, they are responsible uh, for uh, pre-mix the air and fuel in the right proportion uh, for efficient combustion uh, and complete combustion. Also, it's for safety too. Uh, if you, the fuel is too rich, uh, you might have a chance of uh, explosion. Uh. And then uh, the, the burner also the the uh, determine uh, the shape and the direction of the flame, how it go into the the, the furnace. Uh. Now, uh, so even this one is for for the gas burner. I would just say, uh, just, just uh, mention a little bit about the coal burning equipment. Uh. So we're gonna in this semester we're gonna sk skip the coal burning equipment, but just uh, have a general idea what they are. Uh. Okay, now, so most of the coal, eh, they are burned um, near where they mine, uh, that's in Canada. Eh? So if you find a coal, a coal mine somewhere, eh, and it's not economical to ship it a long way to burn, eh? so a lot of time, you know, they just build uh, a power generating station what nearby eh, and burn all the coal. Eh? Okay, now there are two types, two main types of, of method to burn. One is the stroker. The stroker is just a uh, metal conveyor belt, uh, continuous, endless conveyor belt, put the coal there and burn it slowly. Uh. Now, and the other one uh, is a pulverized uh, coal burner. So you first, you ground the coal into really small practical, uh, uh, probably, you know, uh, half a, a centimeter, uh, a big. Uh, and then you use uh, air to bone the, the coal into the furnace and burn them in suspension, uh, just like uh, gas. Uh. Okay, now, uh, this topic uh, is, is quite important for, the, for burning. Uh. So purging is very really important uh, for, for the oil and gas burner. Uh, okay, uh, so the reason why we burn it, uh, bur why we purging the furnace, uh, is because the, um, if the, the mixture of the fuel uh, and gas is not right, uh, just that you have a too, too rich uh, um, a mixture of, of gas, uh, you might have a furnace explosion. Uh. So this one we call it the fire side uh, explosion. Uh, so it's a uh, on the furnace side, not the water side. Eh? Okay. Now, uh, so the before any gas eh, and on furnace uh, can be ignited, eh, so you must purge the furnace of uh, com combustibles. Eh? Okay. So, which may be a lamp over from last time you burn it. Eh? So after you you shut up the, the boiler, the furnace, last time. Eh? So there might be some situation, you might have a little bit of leaking, eh? leaking by, eh? so and the natural gas, and just leak in there, okay? Now, let's take a look what is combustible. Eh? Combustible, that means the, f the component, the fuel, that can be burned. Eh? Now, in, in the component there, eh, you have, uh, you have moisture. Eh? Moisture is not uh, compatible. Eh? Now, in in the furnace there, you have uh, uh, oxygen, nitrogen. Eh? Those one eh, is not combustible. So the reason for the purging eh, is not to get rid of the, the oxygen, the nitrogen. Eh? It is to get rid of the combustible. So that is the, the natural gas eh? uh, uh, and oil mix. Eh? Just say, you know, the CH4 and, and and C2, C2H, uh, CH3, CH4, C2H6, uh, those ones, yeah, okay. Now, the definition uh, of purging is to force a, a big amount of air into the furnace uh, and get rid of all the combustible. 
and you bow lots of air in there so that the combustible eh, will go up the chimney eh, and then your whatever lamp in your furnace eh, it's just regular air eh. now so how long you purge eh, is depend on how big your furnace is eh. okay now uh, lots of uh, it just say the if you're burning natural gas eh, um, most of the uh, furnace eh, one or two minutes, uh, even three minutes, uh, probably good enough. Uh, but if you're burning uh, uh, different types of fuel uh, and uh, dangerous uh, fuel, uh, lots of time, you know, you depend on how big, uh, how long your furnace is. Uh, it might take a long, long time to, to purge. Uh, and I see some of the, the sour gas pan, uh, they burning uh, sulfur uh, because there's lots of restriction there. They, they burn it. Uh, for a few hours eh, before they purging, purging the furnace eh, for a few hours before they start burning in the, the fuel. Eh? So that happened too. Eh? But but most of them, you know, the in for us, eh, you know, the the gas and oil furnace, eh, probably you know five minutes, uh, probably good enough. Eh? Now the rule of thumb eh, is you want to get five furnace volume of air go in. Eh? So that means you change your air five times in inside the furnace eh? so that that is not a crap in stone right eh? just say uh, you know it is um, the, what the people do eh? people think you know you, you change your air five times eh? in the in the furnace eh? so be good enough eh? so let's take a look at uh, the natural gas eh? so uh, now natural natural gas eh? um, the main com com composition in there is the methane, uh, CH4, 190-50%, uh, and ethane, uh, C2H6, uh, around 10%. Uh. Now, you see, on methane, uh, they have one C in there, so they call one C1, uh, and the ethane uh, is C2C in there, you see C2, uh, they call it C2. Uh, in the same thing, I right? just said propane uh, is C3H6, uh, they call it C3. Uh, so it's easier to, to, to call it, that's, that's all. Uh, now, now, so the, the natural gas, uh, uh, when they first come out of the, the, the ground, uh, so, and they have lots of uh, sour gas, uh, the, the S2, 2 CO2, and O2, something like that, all those sour gas, uh, they take it out first. Uh, so they take it out, uh, the resulting gas, uh, and lots of time, you know, they take out the C3, C4, uh, and, and lots of them, uh, right now, uh, the technology is getting better, uh, and they trying to take the effing, the C2H6 out too, uh, okay? Now after they take everything out, uh, the natural gas is then no smell, uh, no odor. So but that is uh, really dangerous, uh, because, you know, you, if you, there's a gas leak, uh, and nobody knows about it because it's uh, odorless. Uh, nobody knows about it. Really dangerous. Uh, so they purposely uh, put some just like uh, odor back in there. So the mercatans, uh, mercatans, uh, it can't fire as a sour gas. Uh, okay, the mercatum is really scumly smell. Uh, they put into the sour gas. Uh, so. And if there's leak, eh, somebody know uh, the people operator know why away, eh? okay. Now, for natural gas, it does not need uh, atomizing before burning. Eh? Atomizing is a process. Eh? You break your fuel into small droplet, just in oil, eh? and then burn it. It does not mean you know you put it into atom form. Eh? No, it's not that small. Eh? It's just like it is. Uh, really small droplets, so then you can burn it easily. Yeah? So natural gas does not need atomizing. Yeah? That's one of the good thing. Now, in here, this one show you a, a typical uh, gas train for, for the small boiler, the small furnace. Yeah? So it looks like our, our uh, boiler, the water tube boiler, something like that too. Yeah? Okay, now let's take a look. Yeah? So you have a, a main, main gas cock, eh? so that's main sort of valve. Now there's another one, another gas valve, right before the furnace. Eh? Okay, there are two of them. 
one another one. Now after this, uh, um, you you put the the uh, pressure regulator uh, because when the natural gas come in, uh, come in the building, uh, one of ten to fifteen psi. Uh, but when you burn it, you you only need half a psi, a quarter of psi, really, really small pressure. Uh. So in our case, uh, in our lab. Um, the, the gas come in about 10 psi. Uh, we we lower it down to 2.5 psi, and then uh, this one even lowered it to half a psi. Uh, okay. Now after that, uh, you will have uh, two automatic gas well. Okay, automatic gas well. In front of that, there is a low gas pressure switch. Okay. Now. And then on the other side, I need a furnace. It's a high gas, a high gas pressure switch. Okay. Now, and this, this device a uh, combination, uh, two automatic gas valve and a vent that is called double block and bleed. Uh, double block to shut off and bleed. You let uh, if there's some gas go, let it out. Uh, so that's called double block and bleed. Uh, okay. Now, and after this, uh, you go to a uh, main gas cock, and then you see there's a, a butterfly valve. Uh. This butterfly valve is controlled by the, the modulator motor. And the modulator motor, uh, in turn, it is uh, controlled by the, the programmer. Okay. Now let's take a look. Why do we need the low gas pressure cut off in here? Low gas pressure switch. Uh. Now let's say, you know, if the gas company uh, lost pressure, not enough pressure to supply all the customer. Uh, they they will shut off the gas to the the industrial first, uh, and then go to the mine uh. So in this case, uh, if you you lose the gas pressure, and you do not shut it off, uh, shut off boiler, that means that the, the automatic gas valve is still open. Uh. So when the gas uh, finally come back on, uh, the natural gas will fill up your furnace, fill it way up, eh? and if there is an, a hot spot there, eh? you might have a, a hot spot and you may have ignition, eh? and then you have lots of gas, eh? no air, so you have explosion eh? to, to which, eh? okay. So that is why if you lose gas pressure in here, you better shut the boiler off. So those are two automatic valves eh? so be close. Okay, now the high gas pressure cut out uh, is is there, there for reason too. Uh. So you have the uh, modulating motor control the butterfly valve, which is the gas, uh, and then the damper, which is the air. So the proportion uh, of air and gas is all pre mix. Uh. But let's say, you know, all of a sudden you, you have a higher gas pressure coming in, uh, that means your gas to the air ratio uh, is too rich. Uh. In this case, uh, too rich gas gas to air ratio, you have also have exposure. Uh. So that is why the high gas pressure are cut off is in here. Now, and then of course, uh, you uh, behind that, uh, there is a really small line in there called the pilot, uh, pilot uh, gas line. So really, really small, probably half an inch. Uh. In there, you have another pressure reducer uh, and the, the solenoid valve, uh, which is controlled by the, by the uh, programmer. Uh. So that's uh, our uh, boi uh, water tube boiler have, have that. Uh. So first, you ignite the, the pilot first, uh, and then the pilot uh, will ignite the main, the main gas. Uh. Okay. Now let's take a look at the, the gas burner tire. Um, so the major tire, there's uh, quite a few uh, different classifications, uh, but lots of them are uh, the classified as the P mix uh, and after mix burner. Okay. Now P P mix a uh, burner, that means uh, one thirty to forty percent of the the primary air. So when you burn, you need the uh, the air. To mix up with the fuel before you burn, uh, that two they supply the, the air into that for two different paces. Uh. One is called the primary, uh, it's a 
first you mix it up uh, the spine yeah. and then when it's burning uh, you supply another air stream of air to complete the burning uh. so the p-mix burner uh, uh, usually you have 30 to 40 percent uh, um, the primary air already mixed up in the the gas uh, venturi uh. venturi is uh, a pipe uh, it's small in one end and expand expand to the other end uh, so that you have you have a pressure uh, have a fold going really good uh, so that is a venturi uh, okay now so the p mix burner usually we really need for the really small capacity of furnace uh, so 500 kilowatt and lower so this one is a really really uh, a small uh, piece of equipment uh, so p mix is always small uh. now the post mix gas burner uh, most uh the boiler just said that the, the good size boiler not not have to be really big uh, even as big our as our water tube boiler and so those one uh, it's not really big boiler only uh, probably you know 2000 pounds steam uh, um, an hour so they they use a post mix gas burner now post um, um, the majority of them are into two categories uh. one is a, a multi-spot uh, burner it's just a lots and lots of small pie there now another wing burner uh. so i believe in our lab uh, um, it is the the wing burner okay now, so let's take a look at the multi spot burner. The spots, uh, uh, it's just a soft piece of pipe, okay? Uh, now, and you have a gas manifold. A uh, gas manifold is just a wrong, one piece of pipe, uh, and in 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 the 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 wrong piece of big pipe, uh, they put out some uh, uh, spots. It's just a small piece of uh, the the pipe, uh, and um put some hole in there okay now so on the spot there they have some small holes at the end uh, and then the gas will exit there okay and now, now usually you know you need a, a pilot gas uh, to to start the ignition uh, but most of big boiler uh, uh, you need a uh, a pilot frame uh, to 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 start the ignition uh, okay now let's take a look in here this is a post mix burner huh? now so you see the big wing there that is a manifold huh? so that that is a manifold on the manifold there the, there is some uh, small piece of pipe sticking out huh? that's where the gas come come out huh? and and the the air the air will 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 come in huh? come in here that's the primary air and then the secondary air will be in here uh, you see the louver uh, that's where the air come in the secondary air come in uh. okay, so the gas first come into the manifold the big round piece of pipe uh, and then get out of the spot uh, and then burn way in front of that uh. now you you can see in this one uh, uh, they have a pilot gas uh, the pilot gas in here pilot gas a really small pipe uh, they start a pilot just uh, use an igniter to start a pilot first, uh, and then use a pilot to light the the main burner. Uh, so there's a main burner. Now in the middle there, you can see uh, there is a uh, they said is an uh, atomizing pie. Uh, this this a piece of pie is uh, oil atomizing gun. Uh, you see, there's a gun there. We are talking about you know, the post mix gas burner. Eh? All of a sudden, they put a pipe this pipe here eh? because you no know, lots of uh, burner they are dual fuel. Eh? They can burn gas and oil. Eh? So that is why they have a gun, uh, oil gun in there. So if you're burning gas, you just uh, back up the gun, eh? back up the gun one uh, ten centimeter. Eh? so that it won't interfere with the burning. Huh? So if you want to switch from gas to the oil, huh? you just pull the gun huh? out 10 centimeter huh? and you can burn oil. Huh? So this one is huh? very common desire. Okay. Now the wing tight gas burner, that's, that's uh, very, very common. Um, I think ours is uh, wing tight common too. Huh? Uh, really high capacity. Okay. Now, so the the gas is supplied the the gas man the just said the the wrong gas manifold uh, and then each one have some small hole 
No. And then the primary air, uh, it go through a louver. And the reason why you go, go through that is that you want to make the, when you go through a louver, uh, you have a swirl, a whirling, a swirling direction. Uh, so the air and the gas will mix up uh, and go, go like this. Uh. Now, in, remember on the chapter one, uh, we said uh, the three T, uh, one of the T is turbulence. Uh, so the the primary air go through the loof. Uh, that is the reason we go like this. Uh, it just make it go swirling uh, and mix up the gas and, uh, and the air. So uh, better mix, uh, mixing. Uh, okay. Now let's take a look at the, the wind burner. Pretty much uh, almost the same um, uh, as, as there as the as the uh, the, uh, the, as the multi spot. Uh, you see, there is a manifold. Uh, the gas will go in here. You see this manifold, and in there you have uh, some gas nozzle. Uh, now some of the smaller one, uh, they don't even need the gas nozzle. Uh, it just there's a, a, a whole lot of hole drill in the manifold uh, and uh, the, the gas gets come out there. Okay. And those uh, holes they drill in there, they have a special uh, size. Uh, you cannot, uh, if it puck up, you cannot drill it bigger. Uh, so there is a special size so the, the small hole will let the gas come out. Uh, had to be a, a, a particular size. Uh, okay. Now, so now in in this case, uh, the so the the louver uh, suppose some around here, so when it come out, uh, it it will go like this, a uh, swelling motion, uh, and then burn uh, on this side of the water tube. Uh, so that is a wing tight uh, gas burner. Now again, uh, they have an oil gun in there too. Uh, so this one they probably do fuel bur uh, uh, boiler too. Uh, so if they want to burn burn oil, uh, they just pull this gun out to somewhere around here, uh, somewhere around here, and then can burn oil. Uh. So it looks like right now, uh, the the position there for the gun, uh, they take the gun back, uh, so you can burn natural gas. Uh. Now we talk about you know the the pilot for the gas burner uh, just a moment ago. Uh. Now. Mm, most of the, the boiler, um, if you go to the, uh, even as low as 1,000 pound steam right now, uh, so they they use the pilot uh, to ignite it, okay? It, you have to establish the pilot too first, uh, and then the pilot in turn will ignite the main burner. There are three different types of uh, pilot burner. Uh, continuous burner, continuous, uh, intermittent, uh, and interrupt. Now, so you have to pay very really good attention to this, uh, because you no know, intermittent uh, and interrupt, it might not be what you think they are. Uh, okay, so just read read this. Uh, uh. Okay, now continuous pilot uh, is a uh, called standing pilot. It's just uh, it's burning all the time. It, it's burning all the time uh, on the small furnace. That's uh, just like the old furnace at home. Uh, your pilot. Uh, will burning all year round, uh, even in the summer time. Uh, you, you burn the pilot too. Uh. Now, it, somebody will know if you want to, to take, set off the, the pilot, uh, that means though, when the heating season, uh, you have to manually uh, to ignite it again before the furnace run. Uh, okay. Now, uh, so the pilot only first time, uh, uh, if something wrong with the the pilot uh, 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 a lie, uh, only so that otherwise you're burning all the time, uh, okay? It's just a uh, it, it will be a really small furnace, uh, hundred twenty kilowatt, uh, really small furnace. This one probably for for home use, uh, domestic or something like that. Uh, okay. Now the intermittent, uh, intermittent. I mean, you know, it, it come on and off. Uh, uh, sometimes that's called intermittent. Uh, now. But the, the thing is, uh, you have to uh, really, really careful. Yeah? Intermittent pilot, uh, it defies us. They will automatically ignite at the start of each burn, burn, uh, burner operating sequence. Uh. So that means uh, your programmer, when you go through the purge and uh, everything, uh, and then it will start the, the, 
in the in intermittent pilot. Huh? So in now in this case in here, it continue to burn full out the main burner on period. Huh? So you may think you know that is not intermittent, huh? but because you know one of the uh, the main main burners on, huh? your pilot will be on, but they call these uh, um, intermittent because when you shut down the the main pilot, huh? the the pilot, the main gas, when you shut down the main gas burner, the intermittent pilot will shut down too. Huh? So that is how they define inter intermittent. Huh? Now in interrupt, huh? there's another another type of pilot. Now interrupt pilot ignite huh? at at the beginning, huh? um, the your po boiler programmer will we will start the pilot eh? now and when uh, and then you go through the sequence eh? you purge eh? and then you open the cylinder right, for the pilot eh? and start a pilot frame eh? and then eh? you start the gas well eh? the main gas burner will burn eh? now after this eh? now after the the you you establish eh? the main burner and then the pilot eh? will, will shut off eh? so that is called the interrupt, eh? the interrupt uh, the pilot. Okay, so a little bit different from, from uh, intermittent. Eh? Intermittent is whenever the bur main burner is on, eh? the intermittent pilot will be on. Interrupt pilot eh? is when the only stuck during the the stocking uh, sequence, eh? and as soon as the main gas uh, burner is on, eh? and then it shut off. So that is interrupt. Eh? Now, so uh, there are quite a few different gas valve on the gas line. Eh? Let's just take a look uh, how, how, how they go. Eh? Now, so the automatic, lots of automatic valve eh, use the gas system. Okay. Now the main gas valve. Eh? Um, so the on the picture there. Eh? Uh, and what we say, you know, there are two main gas, automatic gas valve, eh? okay, uh, controlled by the the, the programmer, eh? okay. Now, so they have they have some safety feature, eh? is they open really slowly, eh? a few take four or five seconds before it it, it open up. Eh? Now, when next time when you start the water to boiler, you can see on the side window there, eh? there is a, a flag effect uh, on the side window when you open up uh, you can see it gradually gradually open uh, take it four or five seconds before it completely open uh. now but wh when it's time to shut off uh, there's a piece of spring in there to slam shut the, the valve uh. that's a safety feature uh. so if you lost uh, the something wrong uh, you want to shut off the gas one way away uh, you don't have time to waste uh. you want to shut it down in uh, a fraction of a second. Eh? Okay. Now there are quite a few different designs eh? and a diaphragm, a gas valve, eh? and some of them have a diaphragm. Some of them has motorized gas valve, eh? uh, the hydro motor and the fluid power gas valve. Eh? So what those two use? Eh? They use the the hydraulic eh? to slowly open the valve, eh? but when it time to shut, eh? this piece of spring eh? that slam is shut. Eh? Now, um, our, so our is a honey valve, a big honey valve, okay. Uh, but uh, out there, uh, Maxon, Maxwell, Maxon, uh, Maxon, uh, another company that make lots of automatic gas valve. Okay, now so uh, the motor like gas valve, uh, uh, use hydraulic, uh, the hy hydraulic to slowly open the the. The valve uh, and use a piece of spring uh, to close it right away. Uh, okay, I jump high. Now the, another one uh, is the solenoid valve. Uh, now on the pilot gas slide, there is a, a solenoid valve well there. Uh, okay, the programmer will control the the solenoid valve. Well, okay. Now the magnetic uh, coil. Uh, on top. So on, on a solenoid valve, well, let's take a look at the solenoid valve well, first. Uh, in here, you see it on the top part, uh, uh, on the boil on our boiler room, uh, you see this one is the, the green green one. Uh, on the, so 
on the top part uh, is a magnetic coil. Okay, the magnetic coil. So here and that is a magnetic coil. Uh, now the magnetic only come on uh, if the electricity is on. Uh, so that is a electro electromagnetic. So if you turn on the power and then electricity uh, will produce a magnetic field on the top there. Now there's a puncture in here. Use the sub optic as well. Uh. Now if if the magnetic coil uh, right now is closed. Uh, now if the magnetic coil is energized, uh, the magnetic uh, will pull this piece of uh, puck, uh, the puncher up uh, and the gas valve well is open. Uh. Now if you turn off the electricity, uh, the magnetic coil is, is, is uh, not there anymore. Uh, the weight of the, the piece of puck uh, will come down and close the gas valve. Well. Okay. Now, if you, you install this one sideways, yeah, that means no, if you install it sideways, you, you have to have a piece of spring to close it. Uh, or when it's time to close. Uh. Now, if you, if you in, uh, install it uh, the right way, uh, this side horizontal, uh, the weight of the puck uh, will drop down if the magnetic coil is, uh, is, is, is gone. Uh, the magnetic field is gone. Uh. Okay. So, now, in here, it's a light pressure, the punch hole is closed. Uh, now, let's take a look at this. So, in this case, uh, now, if this one is closed, uh, this is upstream. Uh, so, there's pressure upstream, upstream in here. There's pressure pushing down on it. Uh, so, actually, we will help this coil uh, to close, hold the puck uh, in the closing position. Uh, okay. Now, so in here, uh, now let, let's see, you know, uh, let, let, let's take a look at that in here. The, the one on the left, uh, it de-energizes. When it de-energizes, uh, the puck is come down. Uh, the weight of the puck will come down. Uh, and then you come in there, uh, your, your natural gas or fluid, whatever. Though so this well uh, is not just used for natural gas, uh, used for um, water and some other liquid. Uh, so it's just like in the... In the cooling, ta cooling tank there, we have a automatic uh, a uh, solenoid valve. Uh, like this, uh. So when when it's shut, uh, upstream there, the gas, the pressure uh, will co keep it close. Uh. Now, when it energizes, uh, this magnetic coil, this magnetic coil, uh, will pull the puncture up, uh, and then the whole thing is open uh, to come out. Now, you can see uh, the the solenoid valve uh, is an on-off valve, either on or either off. Uh, there is no modulating in between. Uh, okay. Now, I'm going to stop here and then start end the video for the second part of the chapter 2. Uh.